What is up everybody, Kika06 back here with another test video of the Ryzen 5 8600G. This video is brought to us by Dark Ganesh FF9833 who requested Valorant, so here we are, sorry it took me so long. Uh, we are going to go through the low, medium, and high settings, and for the first three, low, medium, and high, we are going to do it without all the anti-aliasing, without all the clarity, filtering, and sharpening things. It's just going to be the base... Um, the base low, medium, high, just so we can see what it is. Unfortunately, it didn't really work very well. The the app I was using didn't work very well for FPS. So if you're having a hard time seeing the FPS, I apologize. But on low settings, we're seeing above 200 FPS most of the time here. I see it's 170, 180, but it jumps around from 180 to 220 pretty much the whole time. And it feels very smooth. I just can't aim. I use um, I use a controller, so I don't use mouse and keyboard as we're about to swap over to medium setting. Again, the extras are off, but now we're going to medium settings. And right off the bat, we can see the FPS go down quite a bit. It's around 110, 120, give or take. We'll see what it does when we get into Yo, uh, the game. Can I get your sheriff, please? I kind of like this kid. But here we go. It's funny. I actually recorded most of this video this morning before I got to before I left for work, but I uh, didn't have I enough time to edit like it and, and uh, upload it for you. So, Dark Ganesh, I was a little bit off, but at least we got it for you now. Hopefully, this video is going to help you out at all. Uh, we did have uncapped FPS just so we could see how much we're doing and right now we're at 170 180 FPS on medium settings with no extras right now and still uh, this is probably the most smooth a game has felt yet other than Overwatch 2 Overwatch 2 was ridiculously smooth but this one feels like I'm running on an on an actual GPU um, just a friendly re friendly reminder that if you are going to get one of these, you need to download the AMD Adrenaline software. Otherwise, your firmware or your uh, your CPU is going to feel like garbage, and you're going to get basically no FPS. So, just make sure I'm going to try to put the uh, I'm going to put the link down below, as well as the link to the build that I am currently doing all these testings on. Hey, I got a kill there. Um, as well as the whole computer um, that I'm testing on right now, which is just a, a B550 with this Ryzen 5 8600G. It's been working no great. We're ready. Um, here, as we flip over to high settings, uh, this computer's been working flawlessly. Hey, so I do have that one of you guys told a 4070 told. Super to throw in it when I'm done with this, and the Z, no, not the, the Z, the uh, Ryzen 7900X is mm -hmm. going to be paired with it too as soon as I'm done I with this testing. Guys, but the fuck it was. Um, here we go. We are oh, going to go. go into high settings yeah. as soon as this starts, and high settings was okay. Uh, we are going to go, uh, the next setting is going to be high settings, but all the extras are on. So it's going to be all of everything is going to be on. As we're into high settings now, when we are still right around that 140 to 170 FPS, even high settings with all the extras off still feels pretty smooth. Um, this, this is default settings on the AMD Adrenaline app, again, which you will have to download if you're wanting to play. Um... But it's all default settings uh, on that app, and this is Making high with all the extras off. Just keep that in mind, and we're still sitting around this. Well, right now, as I'm in that corner, it's 120 to 130. As soon as I die, it gets up to 200. That makes sense. Um, but ah. still, oh, very, very smooth. Arguably the smoothest I've had yet, and we're going to swap Making over to the highest settings uh, down below in the in the info about this video there's going to be a link to my discord a link to my twitch if you're interested or if you have any questions or if you want me to build your pc i can do that too um just there's many ways to reach me if you comment on here i'm going to respond if you find me on discord i'm going to respond um there's, and no matter what if you try to contact me i'm gonna get with you as and just like right now we are going to max settings with all the extras on anti-aliasing i left off because i don't really know what all that means so i left it off v-sync i'm pretty sure v-sync caps at 120 fps um it didn't really go above 120 fps it seemed hard hard uh 
hard stuck there, which I'm pretty sure if I remember right, V-Sync says, hey, we're not going to go above 120, but we're going to make it look as good as possible. So this is me just moving around on complete max settings. It felt wonky for a second for the very beginning of it. It felt a little... I'll find you. A, a little indifferent. I, I didn't feel very good about it. Go, go, go. Uh, but as this round went on, it started feeling a little better. But what I would say is if you are getting this Ryzen 5 8600G, put it on high settings. Don't turn all the extras on. And that's probably where you're going to get your best bang for your buck out of the CPU. But that is going to be it. If you want to see a different game, feel Five free. Down, put it in the comments Last and I'll make a video down. about it. But again, this is Kick Zero Six. Enjoy the rest of the video and I'll catch you on the next one. If you must fall, then fall near me. I have your back. Where are we? Spike down, B. Silence, you dear. Get him, Faith. Alright, mind you, Faith. Last player standing. I'm sorry, it's just. It's alright, you guys are alright. I, I also think I'm on the outside, but within, I feel yeah, no doubt. Like